This is T Boz from TLC. You're listening to the X and Y Show. Hope you enjoy. The opinions expressed on the X and Y Show are the sole opinions of the host. Please note, there is no intentional desire to offend any member of the listening audience. With that said, if you still feel offended, <laughs> tough shit. It's time for the X and Y Show. With your host, Mr. Roosevelt. He talks about man topics, lady topics, and relationships. He talks about love, sex, and infidelities. He even gives good tips. There is no other show that compares to the X and Y show. Oh yeah, sit back, take your clothes off, and relax. It's time for the X and Y Show, where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. The only place on the planet that tackles the topics that everyone wants to talk about, but no one is brave enough to address. Nothing escapes X and Y, baby. Now, here's your host, Roosevelt Colbert. <sighs> And greetings, 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 greetings. Welcome to another segment of the XY Show. I'm your host, Roosevelt. And we are, um, I asked Alexa how, I think she said 16 days. Or did she say two weeks? And no, I think she said 16 days, six or something. I don't know. it, But it's close. Um, I can't believe Christmas was about to leave. I don't believe this shit, man. I, I I just can't believe it. It's like, you know what? I ain't gonna talk about that shit, man. Uh, <clears throat> no, I will. Shit. One morning is September first. I'm paying Earth for the five September. The next moment, Halloween tomorrow, and then Thanksgiving two days away. <laughs> Thanksgiving and come and gone. And now Christmas is damn two little two weeks away, and I ain't bought shit for nobody. I got to do my damn shop, and I keep forgetting. Damn, but um, it, the shit is just—I don't know what it's like. Warp speed or some shit. I don't, it's going too fast. I haven't watched all my Hallmark movies, and uh, I'm behind. I ain't seen Charlie Brown yet. I ain't seen Rudolph. I ain't seen none of my shit. It's, this year is going by too fast. Um, the good thing is it's going to get cold tomorrow here in Florida, southwest Florida, for about four days. That's unusual. You know, you got to take that shit when you can get it. So I'll probably go out tomorrow and, and relish that shit. <laughs> it's like, like a last meal or some shit. It, might, it don't tell the when we're going to get a cold front again. To get out of this fucked up state of Florida, but um, uh, hope everyone's having good holidays. Um, seen um, not seen. I saw a headline today that I, I just feel that I have to talk about. <laughs> Use I don't pay attention to that bullshit on the news, that you know the tabloids and what's going on because I don't give a fuck about no celebrities. And what they doing, you know, motherfuckers, some motherfuckers, every time a celebrity take a shit, they get, they want to take a picture. And, oh, my God, he's in the bathroom. And I don't care, but I just feel, since the XY show talk about relationships, I feel that this pertains to my show. It was relevant. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, it appears that Deion Sanders and his girl, longtime girlfriend, Tracy Edmonds, the ex-wife of Babyface, has broken off their relationship. Now they're just friends. Now they are just friends. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't find any joy in this. You know, I don't have anything against Dion. I don't even know Dion. He seems like a cool guy. I think he's the best cornerback to ever play the game. Hands down. I have nothing against Dion. Don't have nothing against uh, anything against uh, Tracy Edmonds. Very smart woman. She went to Stanford. Um, 
thinks her degree in psychobiology, so she's a smart cookie. Have nothing against her. Very smart woman. She made two of my favorite movies, Soul Food and one of my ultimate favorite Christmas movies, actually, um, Have Plenty. That's more like a Christmas slash New Year's movie. And actually, I'm going to put out my list in a probably about 10 days or so of Christmas movies. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, she's a very smart woman. Got a production company. She's doing shit, right? Um, the first thing I thought about when I saw that headline was, that's a lot of nut. That's a lot of nut in her stomach. Um, it, it, you know, it's no easy way to say it. Now, she's been giving away all her milk for 12. I, th- I think they're in a relationship for over at least 10 years, but I think it's about 12 years. It was in a relationship, but shit, 10 is bad enough, but I really believe it's 12 years. I'm seeing different headlines. Some say 10, some say 11, some say 12. So I'm going to say between 10 and 12 years. Either way, that's a lot of nut in somebody's stomach. That is a lot of nut in somebody's stomach. And that's what she has right now. That's the only thing that she has to show for that relationship. Now, she might have some gifts. Uh, she might have a, you know, George Foreman a grill and, you know, some little material shit. But the real thing that she has from that 12 or 11 year, that decade plus relationship is a stomach full of nut. That's all she has. Ladies, I told you long ago in one of my early episodes, I think it was number 16, I can't remember. Look it up. Giving your milk away for free. Giving your milk away for free, allowing somebody to fuck you for continuously over two years and not getting anything in return. And I'm not saying Dion a bad guy. He, he, you know, like I said, I don't know him. He's, he seems like a cool dude. But ladies, men would do what you allow them to do. If you allow them to rent your car for free, then they, they're going to drive it. They're not going to turn it down. They're going to drive it until the wheels fall off. And they'll never buy it. If you allow them to get milk, they'll drink it. And they'll never buy the cow. Never. And that's what she did. She allowed Dion to break her back for 12. Uh, I'm going to go say at 12 years. I'm going to go. I believe it's 12 years. It's been a long time since they've been fucking. Since he been getting all that free ass. 12 years. You let Dion break your back. Nut all in you. I mean, that's a lot of nut. You know, over 12 years, you know, they was fucking without a condom and at this point, they weren't fucking with the condoms. And at this point, it was fucking a lot. And that's a lot of cum. You know, we talking probably about two gallons or more. You know, if you add all that shit up over 12 years, we talking about two gallons or more, two to three gallons in her stomach. Ladies. Stop allowing men to use you. And I don't want to hear that bullshit. Well, maybe she don't want to get married. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Stop saying that shit. She do want to get married. She was in a relationship with Eddie Murphy. And they were engaged. And then that shit fell through. And, you know, she, they was about to get, damn it. I think they got married in a secret ceremony or some shit and got a note. It was some crazy shit that happened. But the, the bottom line is, he was in a relationship with Eddie Murphy. She was engaged. She wanted to get married. You know? And then she get in a relationship with Dion and allowed him to rent the car, not buy it. Allowed him to drink the milk, but not buy the cow for 12 fucking years. That's a lot of nut. That's a lot of being in the book. That's a lot of doggy style for nothing. All she got to show for is a 
uh, hurt a couple of hurt hamstrings. <laughs> I know a lot of you women said that ain't even funny. <laughs> yes, it is. It is funny. You know, don't get mad at me because you women allow yourselves to be used and abused. I, I, you know, that I, I've tried, and you always saying that I don't say anything for the girl. I've said, I've, I've said so many times. I've done episodes on this shit. Stop. Allowing men to fuck you with no purpose. It doesn't take a motherfucker over two years. A year. A year. A dude know if he want to marry you or not. A year. That's all it takes. A year. He knows. He's like, oh, yeah, I can marry her. I can marry her. Some guys up to six months. Say, yeah, I can, I, can, I can do this. Two years for sure. Twelve? Get the fuck out of here. After two years, all you turn into is a piece of ass. You know, I'm I'm, I'm not sugarcoating nothing. After two years, if he had a fucking engagement, <laughs> see, a lot of you, I, I talked about that a few weeks ago. A lot of you get that ring. You say, well, I got him now. I'm, I won. Oh, yeah, it's over now. Game over. No, it's not over. That's, that's. You know, and I think they were engaged. That was a STFU ring that he gave her. Shut the fuck up. That's all she got. She didn't walk down the aisle. She didn't get married to him. He didn't marry her. He didn't take that step down the aisle with her. All he was stepping into was her ass. That's a lot of nut. 12 years. You know, I... I feel sorry for her, even though they broke up, you know, cordial and shit and they friends and all that bullshit. That's very nice. That's cute. But the fact is, this is what it boils down to. She's wasted 12 years of her life and don't have anything to show for it. Anything to show for it. 12 years. He's 56 now. So when they start dating, when they she, she's twelve, when they start dating, she's forty four. Forty four years old when they start dating. Now she's fifty six. Damn near sixty. Damn near sixty. She's wasted so much time with a motherfucker. I shouldn't call Dion that. I mean, I ain't got nothing against the brother. I'm rooting for him actually. I hope he. Uh, you know, I know he's going to be successful. Yeah, give him about two or three years, they're going to be ruling over there in Colorado. But I'm just telling like it is. She let somebody break her back for 12 years. What does she have to show for it? And she's wasted so much time. She's wasted 12 years of her life, her female life. You know, 12 years of her good fucking years. For what? A George Foreman grill, you know, a few necklaces. For what? Ladies, you better wake up. You better start listening to me. It doesn't take that long for a motherfucker to marry you. If it's over a year and he hasn't shown that he want to marry you, move on. Especially if you, now if you just want to get fucked and get a dick in your mouth, that's different. You're on the same page, but a lot of you women don't want that. You want to get married. Tracy wants to be married. She don't want to just get getting fucked. But I know what happened to her. She was in it for two years, and she looked around. It was five. She looked around. It was eight. So she said, "Damn, I can't leave now. I got to, pl- I got to play this hand." You know. And she played the hand, and you know it was. You know, nothing but a pair of twos. <laughs> she she didn't have a flush. She didn't have she didn't have a three of kind. She had a weak hand. When she finally played it, she she had to play it. She had invested so much time. She had to play it through. That's why I say don't waste time. If it's a year, and that motherfucker ain't talking about marriage, 
It's time to move on. If it's two years and if you guys are not married, it's time to move on. You're wasting time. And now look, she's 12 years, 12 years. That's a long time, man. I really, you know, I don't, I don't know shit about Tracy. I don't even know what her favorite color is. And don't give a fuck, really. But I still feel sorry for her. Because I know she's somewhere right now crying her eyes out. And she realizes that she's wasted so much time. Wasted. Time that she can't get back. Ladies, please listen to me. Stop allowing men to drink your milk for free. Stop giving your milk away for free. Make that motherfucker buy the cow. If he wants to drink milk, make him buy the fucking cow. It's not hard. And if he don't want to buy the cow, there are plenty of guys out there that will. You women act like motherfuckers are the only uh, persons on the planet. Oh, I got to get with him. It's uh, 10 million motherfuckers out there to get with Tracy right now. But anyway, I didn't mean to talk about that that long. I just, I just felt I had to touch on that because a lot of you women be falling for the okie doke. Y'all fall for that shit hand down. You know, just just falling for the shit. I'm with my DMX wife. Oh, no, excuse me, excuse me. His long term girlfriend. When he passed, she didn't have shit. All she had to show for was a, a broke back. He never married her. And that happens every day. It's not just celebrities. That happens to regular non celebrity folks. Drinking milk for free. Because you women always falling for the okie doke, falling for that dumb shit. And then you get mad when, you know, he stopped drinking your milk and move on. He he done had enough of your milk. He got a, he got a belly full of your milk. You know, his gut about to bust with your milk. And he done put his milk in your stomach. <laughs> a lot of it. So he's done with you. No, that's that's mean to say, but the, you, you women need to hear this shit. Cause y'all don't listen. All she has now, Tracy, she's smart, rich, and it could happen to her too. Women, the rich and poor, fall for the okie doke. Don't get it. Don't matter your financial status. You can still fall for the okie doke. She's beautiful. Still fall for the okie doke, just like ugly women. The okie doke is very powerful And a lot of you women fall for that shit every day And then when you get angry The next motherfucker that come along Who is a good guy You take him to a lot of shit Because you put up with this so silly motherfucker For 12 years You know Now you want to get tough With the good guy And you know I'm not saying Dion not a good guy But what I'm saying is uh, a guy that will potentially marry you, you take him to all kind of shit. When you let this motherfucker over here get free ass for over 12 years, over 10 years, a damn decade of your life. He was 44 when that relationship started, barely over her prime. I mean, that's some good fucking years. Now she's 56. I'm not saying that her fucking years are over. But it's definitely not the same. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna talk about that. I don't talk about that shit enough. I don't talk about that pretty much the whole episode and shit. But I just had to say that because uh, look, you women be falling for the okie doke, and then when I try to help ya, you don't listen. And then you say Roosevelt, Roosevelt, all you do is talk about us. You you don't help us. That's bullshit. I got all kind of episodes. That help women. I don't put my man card up for grabs so many times. And as a matter of fact, this was one I'm putting up for grab right now. I'm telling you, a man will use you. A man will drink your milk as long as you give it to him for free. He'll never pay for it. If you give it to him for free, why the fuck? That's like that's like you going to a bar. Like shit. If I go to a bar. 
And them motherfuckers giving me free beer I'm gonna drink it <laughs> I don't You know if, if, Even if it's Miller or some shit I don't even drink Miller But if it's free shit, Get in <laughs> Give me a pick of that shit I try to drink all of it For free That's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand Y'all give that shit away for free Give it away for free Motherfuckers would drink it They'll take it And she got taken For 12 years That's a long fucking time You know I, I, if, if if I was her friend I would say damn Tracy, You alright Let's go out Just have some chicken wings Just chill You know I, I, she, I don't Like I said I don't know Tracy for shit I don't know her favorite color I don't know what Uh uh, toenails look like, I don't know shit about her But I'm just seeing, speaking from a human point of view I don't like to see people Go through that kind of shit Because I know she wants to be married I know she wants to be married again She was engaged to Eddie Murphy She wants to get married again She wants to get married again And this was a bit setback Now she's older Now she has to Go out to the market again and find some other motherfucker that's her idea of marriage material. Because, you know, let's face it, she's not going to get with a, a regular Joe Smoke. Right, let's face that shit. She, you're a plumber. Get, yeah, you don't have a chance. <laughs> you fix ACs, you'll have a chance. Maybe that's some of the problem. Maybe she should try the regular motherfucker. The regular nine to five guy. Who, yeah, I, let me tell you something, a lot of those nine to five guys, they're nine to five guys, but they're not stupid. They're not uh, degenerates and shit. And they, they contribute to society. You know, I'm, I'm just asking a question right quick. You know, I'm really getting off tangent here. I'm probably won't have time to do my real episode that I plan on doing. I'm about to do that shit another time. But I wonder if you can ask Tracy Edmonds, like Tracy, damn, you don't been with Babyface, one of the biggest producers on the planet, you know. Um, uh, I mean, he ain't doing shit now, but I mean, he was big time back in the day, you know, the deal and uh, all through the 90s. I mean, he was the one. Babyface was the one. He had his finger on everything, right for everybody. You don't be with him. You married him. You divorced him. Then you got with Eddie Murphy, one of the biggest movie stars and comedians of all time. You know, um, and then you get with Deion Sanders, one of the best football players, probably the best cornerback. Ain't no problem in it. He was the best cornerback to ever play the game. You know, Hall of Famer football player. So, you know. You have been, you done had the best or the quote unquote best of men. Not, you know, not my idea, but they are the best and the what society idea is. You know, they're rich, famous, you know. So everyone will perceive them to be great catches, right? Because they have money and they're powerful and that kind of thing. But just because society deems someone as being a great catch doesn't mean they're right for you. He was with Babyface. He was with Eddie Murphy. You know, these powerful motherfuckers. Deion Sanders, you know, affluent guys, you know, very powerful, you know, very well known. I wonder if you would ask Tracy right now, Tracy, right? Well, probably right, not right now because, you know, she's probably, I don't know, she might be thinking of, you know, who knows, might be thinking of <laughs> licking pussies. I don't know. She might be doing that for a while. I don't know. But um, when she does trust men again, <laughs> you know, she'll, she'll get over it and she'll probably start dating again, maybe six months, you know, a year, whatever. I wonder if you ask Tracy, like, Tracy, would you get with a regular guy? Um, You know, I'm when I say regular, I'm not talking about someone who is making, you know, I'm talking about just a regular Joe Smo, you know, a plumber, you know, or accountant, you know, a teacher, librarian, um, just somebody who's nine to five. Um, but that person 
will marry you. Um, that person will treat you like a queen that you are. That person will treat you um, as you have dreamed about someone treating you every day for the rest of your life. I wonder if you asked her, you know, but the only thing is he don't have money. You know, he's not rich. He's not affluent. You know, he's not well known. Nobody know that motherfucker. Now, who's that? Who's that with Tracy? You know, where'd she get that motherfucker from? Nobody knows him. I wonder if you ask her, you know, when you start dating again, could you do that? Could you get with a regular go, you know, Joe Schmo? And I don't, like I said, I don't know Tracy, but my guess, and you know, I have to bet no. Fuck no. You know, she's very affluent. I, mean, I forget how much she's worth. And I, you know, I don't give a fuck. But she's not giving no nine to five guy. But, you know, a lot of you women say, well, she shouldn't. You know, but men do that shit every day. You know, it's football players that marry women that <laughs> are not doing shit. You know, but that's okay. You know, basketball players, they marry, you know, those basketball wives, they weren't doing shit. They, they came up from marrying basketball players. So men do it every day. But, you know, when you ask the reverse roles of women who are affluent and rich, could you marry basically, uh, I don't want to say a nobody, but someone who's not as affluent, not as popular, not as well-known, not as rich. You know, women start to cringe. I'm not saying that no woman has ever done it. There's always exceptions to the rule. But for the most part, women don't do that shit. They're making, you know, a certain amount of money. They want people that's making on their level or more. And you look at all the men that Tracy been with. Matter of fact, she was one. She wasn't shit before her and Babyface got. You know, she, I mean, she probably was making a little dough, but she really came up when he married her. That's how she really came up. So he married her, and she was just a regular Joe Schmo or Shirley Schmo, whatever, you know, Jane Doe, whatever the fuck you want to say. She was just regular. She was making a little dough, but nothing like on the level she's making now. He brought her up. So that proved my point right there. Then when they got divorced, and she got with Eddie, you know, that motherfucker, you know how much he worth. They broke up, then she got with Dion. All these cats got money. Maybe it's time to try the regular guy. Maybe it's time to try the nine to five guy. You do that, you might get married. Because that's what you want to do, Tracy. You want to be married. You want to be treated like a queen. You want to be someone's wife. Would you cheat yourself out of that, just because his bank account is not as big as the as yours or as you want it to be, but he treats you like a queen, he loves you and cherishes you and would die for you. Sounds like a music lyric. But he would be the ultimate husband to you. Would you give that up just because he doesn't make money? Or the money that you make is not worth the money that you make or the money that you desire. You would get that up, Tracy. I would love to ask her that shit. You know, not now. It's too fresh. But, you know, like six months or a year, whenever she start dating again. Tracy. Would you date a regular guy? Would you date? And a lot of you say, "Oh, he just went brothers were trying to get a date." No, I'm not. Tracy, not even my type. You know, I like, um, you know, I like old women. You know, um, that's a little raw. You know, like you know, I like women that probably don't shave their pussy and you know that kind of thing. You know, Tracy looked too little polished for me. Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, very attractive woman, but she's just not my type. You know, you, 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 you guys know what I like, you know. Um, but I'm just saying, for just for general conversation, if I could just talk to her, 
Maybe I will try to go at her or something. She probably like, who the fuck is this Roosevelt? And I, I can't believe I dedicated the whole episode to this shit. I wasn't supposed to do that. I was just supposed to mention it and keep it going. But now I'm about to name the damn shit. Uh, I mean, maybe I call it Question to Tracy. <laughs> shit. Would you try a regular guy? Would you be with a regular? Could you be with a regular guy? You don't be with all the rich guys. You don't be with the music producer. You don't be with the entertainer. You don't be with the athlete. Maybe it's time to get with the plumber. Maybe it's time to get with the accountant. Maybe it's time to get with the engineer. The regular Joe Schmo. If that guy treated you like a queen, Tracy, would you give him a chance? Anyway, ah, uh, ah, uh, shit. I wasn't supposed to talk about this shit. But anyway, y'all be fucking with me. I'll talk about the next episode on the next episode. I'll catch up on that and talk about what I was supposed to talk about on that episode. I'm going to have to name this one Question to Tracy. <laughs> shit. But anyway, uh, be sure to check out any episodes that you may have missed. Um, I'm also on social media I'm on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, Threads, Instagram And you can catch my old episodes Everything on my website Which is www.thexyshow.com www.thexyshow.com Be sure to check out everything there Um, I did have to store up with my shirts and shit But you know I told you I changed my laptop And it's just too much shit going on So I don't have a store red available right now If you want a shirt Just let me know Email me and I'll definitely send you the link But I don't have a store up right now Um, So sorry But um, <laughs> Too much shit was going on But anyway I will see you later this week And I want you always to remember That you cannot have love Or lust Without X and Y. Later. You've been listening to The X and Y Show with your host, Roosevelt Colbert. The place where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. Join us next time. You can now put your clothes back on. Or not. Uh.